While it's often said the most important shot in golf is the next one, it's hard not to reflect on the great success that Cavalier golfers experienced this summer and fall. Perhaps none were more successful than Denny McCarthy. The senior from Rockville, Maryland used his sixth place finish in April's NCAA championships to propel him to the Maryland amateur title, a semifinal appearance in the U.S. amateur, and he helped the U.S. team to the world amateur title in Japan. McCarthy's confidence from these strong individual performances helped propel the Cavaliers to a top 10 national ranking. NCAAs was a pretty incredible experience. Had a great week with uh, Coach Sargent. That, that week, I think, really propelled me and gave me the confidence uh, I needed going in towards a pretty important summer for me. Just showed that I can play on the biggest of stages and I'm not shy and I'm not gonna back away from some of the strongest competitors in college golf. It's really easy to lose focus out there when you're out there for three or four hours. And when you're playing that good and you're that confident, you're really engaged into every shot. And I knew I had the game to you know, win every tournament I entered. So that's just the mentality I took to every tournament. McCarthy ran away with his second consecutive Maryland amateur title. And he followed that up with a semifinal finish in the U.S. Amateur Championship, a tournament that boasts such past winners as Bobby Jones, Jack Nicholas, and Tiger Woods. I just knew if I, if I could get past the first round of match play, just get over that hump, that I could make a deep run. I think the Maryland Amateur helped me just because that's a match play tournament as well. I think it really gave me some momentum to keep going and I knew my game was comfortable. I had my brother on the bag and we're a great team together. It's, it's really helpful when we're both engaged in the process rather than thinking about any type of results. We put the same emphasis on every shot uh, and kind of just stay in the present. Each, each time you, you play in a big event like that, advance how, however far you do, you mean you, you just learn so much from it each time and it's kind of what I've taken from it each, each tournament as a stepping stone towards the next level. The U.S. Amateur result earned McCarthy a unique opportunity to compete for his country in the World Amateur Championships in Karazawa, Japan. You know, that was probably the single uh, most best experience I've had golf-wise and just to be in Japan for 10 days with a couple, couple of teammates and a captain and to have everybody buy into what we were doing was uh, really cool and just representing your country, I mean, it doesn't really get much better than that. Just, it was really cool playing with kids from different countries just to see how, how golf in other, in other parts of the world shape out. For, for us to come out on top at the end of the week was just, you know, just a cherry on top of just an amazing experience. As the fall comes to a close, McCarthy now moves into the twilight of his career as a Cavalier. Even though a future in professional golf awaits, the All-American is focused on a strong finish at UVA. You know, I don't like to get too far ahead of myself. I like to focus on things as they're happening right now. You know, my mindset is just staying in the present and the, the future's gonna come. Today his focus is perfecting a short game at Birdwood's second hole. Uh, probably take a little bit off it, probably just a nice smooth 60. Maybe try and land a little past it and see if we can't spin it back a little bit. Yeah, kind of like how I drew it up. Landed about uh, you know eight or ten feet past, spun it back to about pin high, and let's see if I can roll this nice eight-footer in now. Kind of like that. 